All right, guys, thanks for tuning in again. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to put a uh, watermark over your image. And so one of our friends is doing an Etsy store. This is one of her prints. Um, and she, I made this kind of graphic for her. Actually, let's flip it to white. Turn this off. Uh, image adjustments, invert. Okay, now we have an inverted image of your logo. It could be any logo. So go copy and make a new layer here, paste it, and we can kind of turn it, maybe something like that, just nice and big in the center. I would duplicate it and oops, put another one like, I don't know, over here and duplicate it and make another one, oops, I don't know. I. This new Photoshop, I don't like it. Put another one down here, something like that. And then we can merge all these layers together by going here to merge. And you can, I like putting on um, the overlay. Kind of gives it a nice texture, but then you can turn down the opacity just a tad. And so now nobody can really copy your image. And that's about it. And then you just have the two layers. So when you want to export, you just go to file, export, you know, save as whatever you want to do it and then that's kind of how you get a watermark over your image so somebody can't copy it and there's also um, photo P I'll show you that one real quick photo P same ideas as Photoshop but I'm gonna go new project actually let me just go open from computer on the desktop That's not it, but uh, I hate that there's no cover flow. Can I just drag and drop this? Yeah. There we go. Same thing. You want to create another layer here and drag some text and just make it TGB and increase the size. Whatever you can pick, whatever font you want, you know. But, and then go to free transform, stick it at an angle maybe, maybe make it larger, I don't know. Stick it in the middle, same idea. And we can turn, I, li I like this overlay one for personally, but um, you can also image adjustments invert to turn it white. Yeah, rasterize the layer, no. Image adjustments, invert. And now you see you got it back there. Obviously, you know you can use your own logo, um, your own opacity, your own whatever. But that's just kind of how you set it all up. I mean, you can leave it as just normal, and just turn down the opacity a whole bunch, so that you only see it a little bit. Um, I like that the overlay how it looks. You still see the image, but it's it's harder to get that. Uh, cut out so you do the same thing file export or save whatever but that's how you do a um, watermark in both photo p and in photoshop so i hope you learned something today thank you so much for tuning in hope you have one good one guys peace